MBI is the Mississippi River Basin Healthy Watersheds Initiative, which is an initiative uh, from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Under the MRBI, there are different programs that are out there available to landowners for restoration and protection. The main one which we are using, it's an easement program through the USDA Farm Bill, which uh, will purchase a conservation easement from a landowner in order for them to retire marginal agricultural land from production and also uh, do restoration. When the MRBI project began, the Kentucky chapter was able to enter into a partnership agreement with the Natural Resources Conservation Service and that partnership has been crucial to the success of this project. And what we've tried to get landowners to understand is that, hey, there's some better land out there. And so we're seeing landowners that have lost land to crop production. We had a big flood in Kentucky in 2011. That was another reminder of, of the fury of the, of the river system. And landowners are looking to take this land, that's marginal land, out of crop production, take the proceeds from the easement payment that they received to go buy some better land. And the wetlands are important. They're, they're buffers, they're cleansers. As you get water running off the agriculture areas and flowing through those wetlands, it slows down and it cleanses that water, it captures that sediment, and then the water that does run into a bind creek is cleaner and healthier. And also those floodplain areas, when there is high flow, they absorb that flood water. So it holds it in the soils, it holds it in those wetlands, and then it slowly releases it back into the main stem. So that you reduce flood risk and flood damage further downstream when you have those big significant floods that we've seen over the last couple of years. They do millions and millions of dollars of damage, partly because we've disconnected our floodplains from our rivers. The Mississippi River Basin Initiative is putting that permanent protection in place with willing landowners and is providing the dollars to restore those areas so that those ecosystem benefits that wetlands provide are enhanced and maintained over time. The overall goal of the MRBI project through USDA is to address Gulf hypoxia, uh, basically the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico, which is a result of not entirely but largely of agricultural inputs, be it sediment and nutrients. In Ingram's judgment, the Nature Conservancy represented the, the very best partner to work with and we felt that it was important that we take an active role in trying to preserve and improve the natural resources that we depend upon for our livelihood and the livelihood of our several thousand associates. Taking the marginal ground and putting it into a productive farm, well, uh, it was a no-brainer. Um, that's the beauty of conservation planning. It's first off, it's voluntary. Second off, it's engaging with the landowner. We're trying to get um, the right conservation practices to fit the operation. Uh, bring the landowner to the next level to understand what little minor tweaks they need to do to their operation that could have a huge impact on the positive impact on the environment. We feel like this is gonna be a very innovative and a very successful restoration project. And this is something that we feel can be replicated in many, many other areas in the watershed as well as anywhere up and down the Mississippi River. Moving into the future, it's going to take the continued successful partnerships that we have as well as support from the private sector and also continued landowner interest. So we just need to get the word out and educate people of this opportunity that's out there for them.